morning. Well, today is Thursday, so tomorrow is my last day of school. It's a half day. Um, I'm heading over to go mow a yard, so I thought I'd take you with me. So, all the cows are behind Great Grandma's house, which Great Grandma's house will soon probably be my house. But they're all back behind there. Actually, there used to be a wall of um, pine cone trees that were there. They all died, and I took the kids here and I pushed them all over there. That's why there's a big old brush pile that still hasn't been burned over there. But yeah, there's also two trees on this side that um, shed. Dad said he'd do it with the bulldozer which that would have involved getting that fence taken down. But one day I was like, I want to see if I can push these. I mean, they weren't very big pine cone trees, but they're a decent size, but they're all dead. So I didn't take much to push them over. So I pushed them over and then I pushed them all over there. Yeah, there was probably um, eight of them. But yeah all pushed out i think back here behind the house right here good place to put a nice little deck It'd be pretty nice back here all the cows are looking at me like what are you doing but yep i'm gonna mow this yard she's getting pretty tall the grass is getting pretty tall like really tall hasn't been mowed for about two weeks because of aiden and well, Aiden and me both really didn't have that much free time last weekend, so. Yep. And we're at the mower. This is a, I think it's a 72, 70 maybe inch deck. 72, yeah. Um, it's not the upper, it's still a commercial mower, but it's not the upper class one. So you got the manual lift, which I'm perfectly fine with that because that's pretty reliable. You're not going to have to worry about that having any problems. But I should have took off my watch before I came over here. Mm. We're in the good zone. So we're ready to rock and roll. Brought my camera so maybe I can get a few action shots of me mowing. But and we'll probably stop by my little two-row planter. I might fiddle with it before I head home for the day. But... Yep, let's get to it. Well, we're a little low on fuel, so I'm gonna fill her up. But yeah, there's a two-row planter. Somebody asked me what type of um, tractor I'd put in front of it. Well, a small the smallest tractor we have is a 4020, so I think the 4020 is gonna have no problems with this. Yes, it would be nicer to have a little bit smaller of a tractor to do this with, but I think the 420 will do just fine. I mean, it's not a, a type one three point or a type um, zero, but it's, it's, I think it's probably a type two or three three point, but I still think it'll hook up just fine. But yeah, I need a chain. Um, yeah, mainly I just need a chain and I need to see, I really don't know what, crop this is meant for somebody else commented that too i really don't know um there's no really signs of anything but i would expect it to be corn but i'm not 100 percent sure so i will have to actually probably just put seed in it and try to see what will happen but there's a little tunnel it's gotta go through so i really am not for sure the plate looks like it's pretty separated on these spots so i'd say it probably is corn I'd say if it was beans, there'd be like one in between, but I'm not for sure. But I'm gonna fill this thing up with fuel and uh, get started.
Well, um, just got done mowing, so I think I am going to go tinker with my two-row planter. Um, hope you guys enjoyed those little clips of me mowing, because, uh, I've never done stripes. I've never done, like, back-and-forth passes, so I just tried it. Um, I don't have, like, the roller on the back, so it's not going to make stripes, but, eh, they're not straight rows, so you can probably tell that from those clips, but, yeah, um, uh, I'm going to go fiddle with the two-row planter now. Until I get a call from dad, we're doing some work at our house, so yeah, we're gonna get flooring put in the basement. So, gotta get everything moved around so that they can do that. So, and which they're coming Monday, today is Thursday, so tomorrow's my last day, and it's gonna be half a day. And then I don't know what I'm gonna do tomorrow afternoon, but Saturday, which Saturday is whenever this video will be out, um. Saturday, I have graduation, so that's why I wanted to record now and not wait because I was going to get you guys a video on Saturday in the morning, which will be when this video is posted. So that's why I wanted to record what I was doing today, even though I'm not going to be doing that much. I could record a little bit of me do what I'm doing tomorrow, it just depends on how long all these clips are, but I don't know. Let's go check out that two-row planter. So, after some searching, there was extra chain and an extra, like, links up here, which is a totally different style chain than what you'd normally see today. It has some weird, like, clip things. Will it focus? Will it focus? Is it not going to focus? It's going to... Oh, there it did. Yeah. Yep. So that's different. You can tell the end of this one is broken, which is for some reason there. Now it's wanting to focus. I just gotta get it up closer. But yeah, there's these link looking things. I think that'll work, but I don't know how long I need the chain and all that jazz. But even back then, whenever this beautiful contraption was made, they put shields, which the reason I think they put shields right there is so that a corn cob or something wouldn't hit it and knock the chain off. Which is smart. But I don't know why it has to go all the way up here. I don't know. I think I'm just going to take it off. I really don't think that's going to be the biggest thing I need in the world. But yeah. I think I'm going to work on trying to get those shields off. And then try to put the chain up there and see how big that chain needs to be. And I also need to grab a pipe wrench and try to move that around again. Like I did last time. So, yep, just going to keep on fiddling with it. So I got everything I need. I just need to go grab the pipe wrench out of the back of the um, nut pickup. That's what we call it. It's the nut. The reason it's called the nut is because it's like nut something is the name of the color. If you know the color of this truck, leave it in the comments below. I forgot what it's called, but... It, it couldn't be just like a light gray or something like that. They had a special name for it. And then my dad made fun of it. Is that a pipe wrench? Pipe wrench. Is it a pipe wrench? I think it's a pipe wrench. But I don't see it in here. I think dad and I took it out. Yeah, no. It's not Hey, it's over there. Oh, yeah, there it is. I had to get it out of the shed. But that's what I needed. I'm going to put WD-40 in the meters again and try to crank it over again. Which I don't know if this is the same one I used last time. Yeah, it is. But, yeah. Make sure that's turning. And then I'm going to put some WD-40 on those bolts to get them where they'll come off easier. I need to measure how far the spacing is. I don't think that's 15 inches. I think it might be an 18. But I don't really care. I could move it. But I really don't care. Honestly, I think I actually could get it down to 15. But I think the real problem with me moving them. If I did want to move them in. Which I really don't. And there's a reason why I don't. Is because I think I could get like a little push mower that my grandma just got. And I could push mow in between the rows instead of 
doing something different. This might not be the smartest thing in the world. But yeah, I think I could get that push motor right in between the two rows. I mean, it's not, I mean, it's smart. But yeah, this would be the biggest problem if I moved them in. That, trying to figure that out. I don't know how you'd change that. Nor do I want to try. I just want to get this chain and get this thing where it'll put a seed in the ground. So I think it'll be neater and neat. Alright. Now, as you can see, it looks a little different now. Uh, I loosened this up. Because I was having problems with that row unit spinning. So I didn't really know what was going on underneath here. There is some junk. But I'm going to put some WD-40 in here. So what it does is that these pins come up and they turn this. They turn that um, seed thingy for bobber up here. Um, so yeah. Well, I don't know if I can do it with my hand. I was just a second ago, but there, kind of get the gist of it. There's some ants in there. And that is not a clean seed tube. It's just good to know that you can look down it. So that one I think is pretty dang clean. I just can't, I think it's sitting on the ground at the moment, so I can't see through it. But yeah, so WD-40 here, WD-40 up here. And since I can get into this, I can actually figure out a way to turn it without actually having to crank it that way. So yeah, pretty neat. I'm learning as I go, but I'm putting some WD-40 on that so I can take that shield off. But that is definitely the most important thing is making sure that part works. And then the second most is have a way to drive it, of course. Oh, well, so I put the chain up. I made it see how long it is. They just broke one of the links, so I got to get that put together. But I was able to take apart both of these row units and get them where they're turning properly. Um, Grandpa and Jared are um, helping hand. Um, came over here and checked it out. And uh, seed goes in this way, which I thought it went in this way. But after seeing how the chain turned and how this was rotating it definitely like going that way a lot more that's your seat depth adjustment um grandpa said he's never seen this thing before and yeah he's about 70 years old so he never saw one of these brand new he said when he was young he might have saw one but yeah and this is definitely not anywhere near 15 inch spacing probably 40 um yeah, nowhere near 15. I think you could take it to 15 if you put it in between. Actually, I know you could, but I don't want to jack with that. And I really don't mind there's a big space in between because if you can go in between the two rows of sweet corn, it's easier to pick. It's either it's easier to like work in between, especially if I want to like mow in between with like a push mower or something like that. Instead of or t using a tiller in between would be a heck of a lot easier this way with them spread apart. But so what I got left, grease it up, put the chain back on, which is pretty much what I said at the beginning of this video. But I think I made big improvements because I've been able to take apart this meter and see what's inside of it and clean it out and get it where it's running all smoothly. But yeah. And then I, Jared taught me about the chain and how to put that together. And I also have, it was kind of great that they had extra links and everything up here. So... For being almost an 80 year old planter and for me to pull it out of the weeds and for me to get the meters to turn already and for me to about to be able to throw on the chain with only tinkering for this thing for about an hour in total pretty dang good so i just gotta go around greasing it as soon as i get the chain on it then we can try it so i think that's gonna be it for this video guys um i gotta go home and help my dad but uh yeah um, me and Grandpa and Jared were both kind of concerned about the if the 420 could do it. I don't know. I need to do some YouTube YouTubing about this, but I know I have to take the draw bar off. There's about 16 inches um, from the the two point link to the tracher itself. Because of that drive wheel that's in front of that thing, it puts it really close to the back of the tracher. So 420 was not made was made about 20 years 
after this planter. Come to find out, which I didn't really know that. I really didn't know how old it was until Grandpa told me he had never seen one before that was brand new. So, yeah. So, I think I can get the 4020 on it with removing the draw bar. I'm hoping I can, because that's kind of the only thing we got that could do it. Unless we rigged up something stupid. But, I hope this works. Even though, I mean, it's it's history of farming, so I think it'd be pretty neat if I could get it to work. Um, I don't plan to do much with it. I just like to plant a little bit of sweet corn with it maybe every year. Just keep it rocking and rolling every year, and then it'd be pretty neat. See how long it could last. And Jared brought up a great point. And that's what I'm going to kind of leave you guys with. Um, if you parked our Kinsey planter, our big 24 row, or our big 16 row, and waited 80 years down the line, there's no way you could just put a little bit of work into it and get it to work. Because of all the electrical and all that stuff, you just couldn't get that to work. Or is this thing? That's going to work. I mean, I might have to get a brand new chain. This old chain might not be the greatest thing in the world. But it's functional, so that's pretty neat. But, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching me talk, especially if you stayed through this whole thing. And if you did watch through this whole thing, give me a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. You just watched this whole video, so you can stick around. Keep up on that little planner. And uh, leave a comment down below uh, if you think the 4020 will be able to... It'll definitely be overkill for that planner, but if it will be able to hook up to it, even though that little wheel is pretty close to the back of that tractor from measuring. That's for measuring. That's not for me actually hooking it up. But... Uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.